Okay, welcome back. We've just saved my game during the short interval. I hope you've gone and got yourself maybe a snack and a drink, and we're ready to continue. Uh, our squad is uh, squad tab is flashing, so let's have a look. We've got uh, Kaiden, who is uh, he's a um, like our character. He's a biotic, so he has like sort of psychic kind of telekinetic abilities um, but he's um, a sentinel meaning that he has like electronics and stuff as well so he's sort of an all-rounder character um, I'm gonna give him some uh, special abilities to help us out first aid which um, increases how much health you get from using the first aid ability and barrier which is a very very useful ability uh, for keeping us from getting damaged yet yeah, we've still got no points uh, we have the horrendously normal mapped uh, Jenkins without his hat um, looks a little bit like George W Bush um, alright let's just give him some assault rifle abilities done and let's set off on our journey. Oh wait, there's one thing I want to do first and that is to toggle helmets off on uh, me and Kaiden. Okay, there we go. What are those things? I'm not sure what they are but I don't trust them. And shoot them. Yeah, damn, that was pretty terrible. Okay, uh, let's go and have a look what's in this swampy area. Hope we don't get any leeches, I guess. You know, considering this place is described as a paradise, it's not really that pretty. Alright, we got some money, and a grenade, and some medigel and something updated in our codex. I'm probably not going to read the codexes in this uh, play because the, you could spend ages just reading the codex in this game, seriously. Oh god, what happened here? It's Uncle Owen and Aunt Peru. Sorry, that's a terrible joke. <laughs> oh dear, there are charred corpses everywhere. This is... Uh, Okay. Um, send a guy ahead. Jenkins, first name Leroy. Pistols are the only uh, combat ability that the, the um, adept has, but it really doesn't matter because pistols are awesome. Oh no, Jenkins! He was so well developed and had a really not awkward at all looking face. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, ma'am. Okay. Where are those floaty doofers? What are these things even? I don't want to get close to them and find out. <laughs> the game's like a hybrid of a shooter and an RPG. Whoa! Gosh! These things are a pain in the ass as they fly about. Some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay, so Nihilus is going on ahead. We've got some squad points to spend. Huzzah! Um, now, Adept will give us. Right, let's learn the barrier power, because it's useful. Um, and 
we'll put some points into this because we'll be able to learn shield boost and unlock pistols and pistols gives us the awesome marksman ability um, well for Kaiden, 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 I don't know uh, let's throw some points into his basics so that he uh, gets some extra pistol damage and things and also recharge his abilities. Let's go and let's see if we've got any equipment we can uh, we haven't got any new equipment that will change. Have we got any? No, we haven't got any upgrades even. Right, let's just continue then. Let's go. We might want to uh Let's have a look what's in here. One of the things in this game is that your health doesn't automatically regenerate when you're not in combat. Finally some action! <laughs> yeah, finally some action, shooting a floaty thing. I will keep pressing space and derping about because it's hard to get used to the changes in gameplay between the different Mass Effect games. Um, they really kind of overhauled how it controls for 2 and 3, which I think was for the better. This game plays a lot more sort of RPG-like. Oh, come on. Oh, it's so good. That could have been bad. I suspect those things probably poison you. There we go. Perimeter secure. You don't need to sound so smug about it, Kaiden. It's not a huge. How did you know? How do you know I'm a commander? Seriously, do, do I have rank insignia? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. Why are we holding assault rifles? We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Seriously, neither of us knows how to use an assault rifle. <laughs> Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. <laughs> this is Ashley Williams, who is going to be a party member. She's a bit like uh, your kind of classic 90s sci-fi action heroine character. Um, we'll be getting to know her a bit better later. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. 
So basically it's that classic kind of Matrix or Battlestar Galactica setup where people built robots and the robots got too intelligent and then the robots kind of rebelled against their masters. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. Monorail. A few weeks ago they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. I don't think we've actually seen Nihilus with anything but a pistol, but whatever. Um, I'm kind of mystified as to how he managed to get past her on this completely linear path without her noticing, but let's go. Move out! Random shouting! Yep, we got a new pistol and some armor piercing rounds. Armor piercing rounds are awesome. Uh, now this pistol is less accurate, um, so I'm not gonna equip it. We're gonna get a better pistol anyway very shortly. We are, however, going to put in these armor piercing rounds and the combat sensor, uh, just to stick something in there. Um, have we got any? No, we still don't have any underlays. Okay. And we now have Ash, who has assault rifles and can actually use them because she's a soldier. Let's take her helmet off because the helmets are a bit doofy looking. The armor looks really comfortable though. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. And the scorpion armor, which I'm gonna spend most of the game wearing because it's really good. It's really good light armor, so it's better in every category than the stuff we're wearing. Uh, okay. And our squad thing was flashing. We've got some points to spend with Ash. We're gonna get her some assault rifle abilities, because they're awesome. And get her shield boost, which is a great ability. And I'll spend a point in um so that she gets soldiers are one of the few classes that get natural regeneration out of combat and it is really really useful as you can see our paragon points are starting to add up so we're, we're nearly at a, a notch and there was a thing over here let's have a look anti-personnel rounds and head rounds a lot of the special rounds you find are not all that useful um, Oh, what's with all these impaled bodies? That's creepy, isn't it? Let's duck behind here. The cover mechanics are quite important in Mass Effect, but not nearly as, they, as important as they will be in the sequels. Behind so I can't shoot him. Man, I miss the homing special abilities that you have in the sequels sometimes. Alright, is there another one? Whoa! He's right there. Oh, he got shot. When you press shift you get this tactics HUD where you can uh, select abilities. We're gonna be using that as we play. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. 
to plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. All right. Um, now, I'm not sure how long we've been going for, so I'm gonna end this episode here because I stupidly forgot to look at the clock. Uh, so let's go onto my menu and I'll see you back in a short while for continuation of this uh, Mass Effect playthrough. See you later.